All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're going to be hooking up your Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons, both of them, left and right, with Steam, in order to get them to function as a single game controller instead of two individual controllers. So, the first thing we need to do is get these bad boys connected to our PC. So, on the back of them, where they plug into your Switch, you'll see a big circular button in the middle. Go ahead and press that. I'm gonna start with the left Joy-Con. And you just gotta hold it for a brief couple of seconds until the lights on the back of it start to flash. Then inside of your computer's Bluetooth settings, just add Bluetooth or other device here at the top. Click on Bluetooth and it should find Joy-Con left or Joy-Con right. I guess it, it's detecting both of them because I was just playing around with this. I'm gonna start with the left. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the right Joy-Con. I'm going to press the circular button in the center on the back where it connects to the Switch. See the dancing, uh, blinking lights. And then add Bluetooth or other device. And then select the Joy-Con right. Now it's worth noting that sometimes these lights don't stop blinking, even when it's properly paired with your computer. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just Nintendo stuff doesn't always like talking to non-Nintendo stuff. It happens. We live with it. Uh, the next thing you need to do is open up Steam. Now, when you possibly use this tutorial later, you might not need to activate the Steam beta. I did. So if you need to do that, you can go to account, and then down here, you'll see a beta participation section. You can click on the change button to either select opt out of the beta, to just use the regular final polished version of the Steam client or use the Steam beta update. Uh, right now I need the Steam beta to update in order to use this feature, so just be aware of that. So inside of your Steam settings, down inside of your game controller settings, you want to open up general controller settings. That's gonna open up a small window that mirrors the Steam big picture mode. And what we want to do is enable whatever kind of controllers you find yourself using. That could include PlayStation controller support, Switch configuration support, which is what we want. And then right now, each one of these Joy-Cons is being treated as its individual controller, which we don't want. We want to use this button here that says use a Nintendo button layout and combine the pairs of Joy-Con controllers into a single controller. So boom. The first two that I've paired with my computer are now considered a singular pair of controllers. And then we can check the preferences, we can name it whatever we want, we can change the player slot LED and all that good stuff. And you can also mess around with calibration controls. If you find you're experiencing stick drift, which a lot of uh, Joy-Con controllers do experience a fair bit, you can kind of see the one here on the left jiggling just a teeny bit. You can tweak the dead zones inside of this setting here as well, but everything looks good to me. And then I can go back, and by default, I should be good upon clicking OK, be ready to take my two Joy-Con controllers and go to the races and start playing games on Steam. This doesn't require any extra um, drivers or anything. However, if you want to get these working onto a different game that isn't Steam, powered or based around the Steam launcher, you may need to use something like Better Joy combined with a program like DS4 Windows. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. It's actually relatively quick and straightforward and painless, unless you have to update to the Steam beta, which is still just a couple of minutes to download the update. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.